Hello everyone, this is Jake from Down the Weebo Hole, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. One Piece has to be one of the series with the greatest mysteries. Even after two decades, the titular One Piece still remains a mystery, and fans continue to come up with various theories on several different aspects in One Piece. I found this picture of an iceberg with several One Piece theories, so I'm going to discuss and explain what each entry means to the best of my ability. The deeper we go down this iceberg, the more outlandish the theories become. If there are two Straw Hat Jolly Rogers when I discuss a theory, that means I know what I'm talking about. If there's one, I pretty much understand the theory, and if there's none, then I'm pretty much taking a guess about the theory. Some of these theories have been debunked, but I'll still discuss them. Now let's begin with the top layer of the iceberg. Every One Piece fan's biggest nightmare. This theory describes the One Piece as not a physical treasure, but as an idea. That what was most important about this adventure was the journey and not the destination. Thankfully, Oda has confirmed that the One Piece is something physical. Let's just hope he wasn't lying. This theory believes that Carrot will join the Straw Hats. I made a video about this a few months ago, so please check it out. According to this theory, Roger had Luffy's devil fruit, the Gomu Gomu no Mi. Since Luffy inherited Roger's will, he would also inherit Roger's devil fruit if he had one. This theory explains how Blackbeard was able to obtain Whitebeard's Gura Gura no Mi. The Yami Yami no Mi has the power to absorb other devil fruits. After Zoro defeats Mr. One during the Alabasta arc, Mr. One mentions if Zoro is going to cut Diamond. If Zoro is going to become the world's strongest swordsman, he should be able to cut the strongest mineral. As seen in opening 17, we see Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji fight Akainu, Fujitora, and Kizaru respectively. This theory believes that these are official matchups that will happen later on in the series. I'm guessing if this theory is correct, we'll have Jinbei fighting Green Bull as well. Luffy has been saying he's going to become the Pirate King since Chapter 1, so it's bound to happen eventually. Fans have speculated that the last arc of the series is going to be a giant war. It will have all the major factions face against each other. This includes the Straw Hats, the World Government, the Navy, the Revolutionary Army, and Blackbeard. Since Zoro looks a lot like Ryuma, people started to speculate that the two are related, and that Zoro is also from Wano. This theory might still be true, but I think we would have learned about Zoro's relationship with Wano by now, if this theory was correct. This theory believes that Sabo didn't die during the reverie. I agree with this theory because it would make no sense for Oda to bring Sabo back and then kill him off screen. This theory suspects that the current world government commander in chief Kong is Yonko level. He wouldn't have gotten the job if he was weak, so maybe this theory could be right. This theory brings up the idea that Luffy's Awakening will be Gear 5th and will relate with Sun Wukong, the main character from Journey to the West. Goku is based off of Sun Wukong, and Luffy is based off Goku, so I can see this theory having some validity. This theory was proven correct in Chapter 975, Odin's retainer Denjiro was undercover as the Yakuza boss Kiyoshiro. This one is pretty straightforward. Red-haired Shanks has the strongest hockey of all the living characters in the series. You know that giant straw hat locked up in Marie Joie's? Some believe that hat is the One Piece. We also have some people who believe that the straw hat Luffy wears is the One Piece. We haven't seen the last of the almighty antagonist of the Sky Pia arc. Anaru is going to return to the series with all the knowledge he's gotten from his adventure on the moon and his new automata army. Another theory about Blackbeard's devil fruit. This theory believes that before Blackbeard ate the Yami Yami no Mi, he ate a zone devil fruit with the powers of a Cerberus. A Cerberus is a three-headed dog from Greek mythology. The theory is that the Cerberus devil fruit allows the user to eat two more devil fruits, one for each of the heads of the Cerberus. 
This theory explains why Aokiji left the Navy. Aokiji pretended to defect from the Navy after losing the battle with Akainu, and now Aokiji spies on Blackbeard and sends the information back to the Navy. Our candy-loving Chopper's monster point is actually a Forced Awakened Zone Devil Fruit. This theory believes that Kizaru is actually Vegapunk. The theory exists merely from the idea that Sentamaru, who's Vegapunk's bodyguard, is always seen with Kizaru, and that the pacifistas also shoot Kizaru's light beams. So I guess Kizaru is the only one who is able to program robots? I don't think this theory holds much weight. Right now, Luffy is fighting Big Mom and Kaido in the manga. I'd be really surprised if Luffy is able to defeat them both in this arc, but this theory thinks it's gonna happen. For the cover story of chapter 631, we see Crocus sharing a drink with another character. Some have speculated that this mysterious character could be Shiki the Golden Lion, who was a part of the infamous Rocks Pirates, and who was also the main antagonist of the One Piece film Strong World. At the beginning of his adventure, Luffy mentions that he thinks 10 members would be a good sized crew. This theory believes that the Strat's final crew size will be 11. 10 crewmates, plus Luffy. This theory believes that the D, some people have in their names, stands for destiny, which means that these characters have a predetermined destiny that they are supposed to fulfill. This theory believes that the Sniper Island that is mentioned in the Sniper King theme song is actually a real island. During the Logtown arc, Luffy is saved by a lightning bolt. We are soon introduced to Monkey D. Dragon, and this got fans speculating that Dragon has a Wind Logia Devil Fruit, which he used to save his son. This theory believes that Moria will join forces with Luffy in order to take down Kaido, since Kaido was the one who obliterated Moria's crew. Wano isn't over yet, so this could still be a possibility, but we first need to see what happened with Moria and Blackbeard. You know those five old dudes that run the world government? Well, there's a theory that they are immortal and have been overseeing the world government for a long time. Probably since the Void Century. Law's Devil Fruit supposedly has the power to grant immortality, so this theory could be true. After the time skip, Zoro returned to the crew with an eye injury. Some believe that when Zoro opens his eye, it will unleash some sort of demonic strength. However, this theory believes that Zoro inherited Mihawk's eyes, which have their own sort of ability. Personally, I think the shut eye is just a design choice. Probably one of the oldest One Piece theories out there, according to Zoro, Toshigi and Kuina look exactly alike, so this leads some to think that the two of them are the same person, and that Kuina never died. I don't agree with this theory because I think if we are following a pattern, four new Nakama should join in the New World. We got four Nakama to join in the East Blue, and four in the Grand Line. So I think four in the New World would make more sense. This theory believes that Scopper Gabin was the third strongest member on Roger's crew right after Roger and Rayleigh. He seems pretty high ranking during the Odin flashback, so I think this theory could be true. Once we learned Rox's full name, people started to look at Blackbeard's ship being called the Saber of Zebek and start to theorize about how the two are connected. This theory believes that Blackbeard is Rox's son. Personally, I think this is more of a Luffy-Roger connection, where Blackbeard has inherited Rox's will. Some believe that Kaido's true form is a dragon who ate some sort of human zone devil fruit. Aboard Goldie Roger's ship, the Oro Jackson, is an egg. What was in that egg? No one knows. Some believe that this egg contains a dragon, others think it's the secret weapon Uranus, and others think it was just Roger's breakfast. It's been a thousand chapters, and we still don't know who Luffy's mom is. Some theorize that Luffy's mom is a celestial dragon who had an affair with Dragon. 
This theory has been proven false since we know Denjiro's backstory now and that he never left Wano. During the Impel Down arc, Ivankov reveals that they know a secret about Crocodile. Some believe that Crocodile used to be a part of the Revolutionary Army. Similar to the Dragon Has a Wind Logia Devil Fruit theory, this theory believes Dragon has a Weather Paramecia instead. Since Big Mom is on Wano now with most of her high-ranking officers and Katakuri is probably resting from his battle with Luffy, this would be the perfect time for Blackbeard to attack Whole Cake Island. This theory has been proven correct. Toki was in fact born during the Void Century. Some believe that Alvalo Pizarro of the Blackbeard Pirates used to be a member of the Beast Pirates. I think this theory appeared due to Alvalo's appearance, mostly because his horns are similar to Kaido's and Jack's. This theory believes that Luffy will somehow destroy the Red Line, which unites the Four Seas together and creates the All Blue. I've always liked this theory, but I'd also like to see this special place in the One Piece world where the Four Seas intersect with one another. During Zoro's fight with Mr. One, Zoro has a flashback with Koshiro who tells him that a swordsman who can cut nothing can cut anything including steel. I believe his mentor is implying that a swordsman chooses when they want to and when they don't want to cut something. The swordsman is so skillful with the blade that they are able to determine how deep a cut will be. So in terms of swordsmanship, I think Zoro has this ability, but I also believe this theory is talking about a literal nothing. And if we look at Shiryu, who has the Suki Suki no Mi, which allows him to become invisible, Zoro would technically be cutting nothing during a fight with an invisible Shiryu. There is this theory out there that Bonnie is Ace's sister. The evidence for this theory is pretty poor. The theory brings up that when Oda drew Bonnie as a male, she looks similar to Ace. Jewelry is similar to gold, so this somehow relates her to Gold D. Roger. The theory also theorizes that Bonnie dyes her hair and her original hair color is similar to Porcus D. Rouge's. The only evidence that I find interesting for this theory is that Rouge has a quote where she specifies if her baby is a boy, his name will be Ace, and if the baby is a girl, her name will be Anne. Jewelry Bonnie is based off an Anne Bonnie, so there is a small connection there. This theory believes that hulking abomination is actually Whitebeard's biological son. I hope not. This theory was proven correct during chapter 1010. I don't know any of the evidence behind this theory, but yes, please. Frankie needs a Gundam. Sadly, I believe this theory to be true. During Impel Down and Marineford, Ivankov injects Luffy with several adrenaline shots and states that this is going to take years off of Luffy's life. I'm not sure how many years, but I don't think our rubber boy is going to make it to 100 years old. Some people think Gein from the Krieg Pirates is now a part of the Red Hair Pirates. There's no evidence to support this theory, but I guess it could be cool to see Gein again. As much as I want this theory to be true, I don't think Monet is alive. The evidence for this theory is so lackluster, it makes the Bonnie being Ace's sister theory seem true. The evidence for this theory is that Oda never kills antagonists during the present time, that there is a 1 out of 3 chance of surviving a heart stabbing, Pell survived a bomb explosion so Monet could survive too, and that Monet likes astronomy books so she would have some sort of connection if the Straw Hats ever went to space. Ooh, reaching. You'll get there. Rayleigh is strong, Rayleigh uses a sword, makes sense. This theory believes that the D some people have in their names stands for Devil, which are the opposite of the celestial dragons who represent the gods of the One Piece world. This is a theory that I believe in, that the wielder of the Shodai Kitetsu is the man who is part of the Gorosei that looks like Gandhi. In order for Luffy to prove to Shanks that he's become an amazing pirate, the Strahds will have a Davy backfight against the Red Hair Pirates. Luffy versus Shanks, 
Usopp versus Yasop, Zoro versus Ben Beckman. I really like this theory because it explains why the Long Ring Long Land arc exists and why Oda introduced the concept of the Davy backfight. The only thing we know about Green Bull is his name and that he proclaims he hasn't eaten anything in three years. Plants are associated with green, and if he was a plant man, perhaps he absorbed the sun's rays as nutrients. And that's how he survived for three years with no food. Some believe that Rockstar, one of the newest crew members of the Red Hair Pirates, is associated with Rox D. Zebek. Besides the two sharing similar names, I don't see how they could be related. Big Mom reveals to us that King is part of an almost extinct race of people. We don't know the full extent of what happened on God's Valley, but some speculate that King is from that island and that his people probably got wiped out during that epic fight between Rox, Roger, and Garp. Some believe that there is a devil fruit with the power to turn yourself into water. In Clockwork Island Adventure, Honey Queen has a devil fruit that can turn herself into a liquid, so I could see a water Logia devil fruit existing. This better happen. Zoro has been holding on to the Sandai Kitetsu for a long time, and if he was going to upgrade, it would only feel right that it would be replaced with the Shodai Kitetsu. It is said that devil fruits are the incarnations of the sea devil. This theory brings up the idea that the Yami Yami no Mi has a special connection with the sea devil and that this fruit could have inherited the sea devil's will. There's no evidence for this theory and we don't know if the sea devil even exists, but I think this is an interesting one. This theory believes that Blackbeard had two twin brothers while in his mother's uterus. His brother's fetuses died while inside their mother, and Blackbeard proceeded to absorb his twin brothers. Due to absorbing his brothers, Blackbeard would have three sets of DNA inside of him, and this allows Blackbeard to use three devil fruits. Some believe that there is going to be a second time skip because they think Luffy and the rest of the Straw Hats are not strong enough yet for their endgame opponents. I haven't seen any evidence for this theory besides Makino being a motherly figure for Luffy. Luffy was 7 years old during chapter 1, and Makino was 19. So Makino would have been 12 when she gave birth to Luffy, and I don't think that happened. This theory suspects that the curse found on the Kitetsu blades is due to the swords eating devil fruits. This would mean that each one of the swords would have to eat a different kind of cursed devil fruit. I like the idea that the Sandai Kitetsu ate an Ashura Devil Fruit, and that is how Zoro has tapped into these demonic sword techniques. This theory was proven incorrect, as we know Denjiro was on Wano while Scopper Gabin was with Roger and Odin searching for the One Piece. We don't know if Dragon has Conqueror's Hockey, but since he's the leader of the Revolutionary Army, I think it's safe to assume that he does. There's no way to this theory, but it's a possibility. Throughout the One Piece series, I don't think we've ever seen a major character drown, which is odd since the story takes place on the ocean. Some believe that Blackbeard will be the final boss of the series, and since Blackbeard is a double Devil Fruit user, the ocean would be a suitable grave for him. Once again, we take a look at the cover story of chapter 631, where we see Crocus sharing a drink with another character. While some think this is Shiki, others believe that this is Scopper Gabin, and Oda is just showing us that he's still alive. This theory believes that the place where the climactic battle between Rox, Roger, and Garp is somewhere in Wano. It was revealed a few chapters ago that Kaido has the ability to move islands, so perhaps Kaido is the one who made God Valley disappear and moved it somewhere in Wano. Wano is an isolated country, so it would make sense why no one would know the whereabouts of God Valley if it was in fact in Wano. This theory speculates that the last road Poneglyph is on God Valley and the Strats are going to find the whereabouts of this mysterious island. There's been a death flag on Shanks, 
ever since he was introduced. He's a mentor character for Luffy, and according to most shonen battle series, the mentor usually dies. I could see Blackbeard killing Shanks in order for the final confrontation between Luffy and Blackbeard to have even higher stakes. We're talking about swords again. This theory believes Mihawk sword Yoru is just a hilt, and that the blade is pure hockey. This would be cool, but I don't think it's true. This theory was proven correct. We've seen that several of Usopp's lies have become truth, such as giant goldfish, a country of dwarves, a huge mole, and several others. After the time skip, we see Makino with a baby. Some believe that this child belongs to Makino and Shanks. All information about the ancient kingdom has been erased, and since the Ds are the natural enemies of the celestial dragons, I could see this theory being true. The world government would want to erase all information about their enemies' past. Some believe that the creators of the three ancient weapons are from the ancient kingdom, so that definitely would make them technologically advanced. We really need more Void Sentry information. I've heard about this theory before, and I'm not the biggest fan. This theory believes that Kizaru is actually a spy and is working for the Revolutionary Army. Most of the evidence stems from Kizaru taking his time dealing fatal blows to the Straw Hats on Sabaody, destroying the key instead of shooting Luffy during Marineford, and when he fought Rayleigh, he appeared like he wasn't taking the fight seriously. I always thought Kizaru was just an easygoing guy. We've seen that Akainu is not very happy working for the Gorosei and the Celestial Dragons, so some believe that Akainu is going to have a military coup in order to take over the world government. I'm not entirely sure what this theory is, but I believe that it is describing how the number 3 is important to Blackbeard. This theory stems from the three skulls on Blackbeard's flag, which lead to the Chimera and Cerberus theories, which features Blackbeard obtaining three devil fruits. I really like this theory. It believes that the D doesn't stand for a word, but is actually a half moon. I'm not sure what relevance the moon would have, but it's a cool idea. This theory believes that the large straw hat in Marijoise is actually the last road poneglyph. This theory speculates that Blackbeard and Shanks used to have a friendship. I don't think this is true since even when Shanks and Buggy were apprentices on Roger's ship, Shanks didn't seem too fond of Blackbeard. I actually think this is correct. Moria had his entire crew wiped out and now chooses to have a crew of zombies so that he won't feel much pain if he was to lose them. Moria was also going to be killed off by Doflamingo during the Marine Ford arc and he also lost Absalom recently. Poor guy. This theory believes that Mary, Kaya's butler, is half human and half mink. Sword is a secret group in the Marines. We know that both Kobe and X Drake are part of this team. This theory speculates that Garp is the leader of this group. I think this theory was created because Kobe was Garp's apprentice, and it feels right that Kobe would continue to work under Garp. I could see this happening as well. Vivi and Cobra are at the Reverie, so the island is without leadership, and it would be an opportune time for the Blackbeard Pirates to attack Alabasta. This is another theory that I agree with. I've always thought that Blackbeard used the Yami Yami no Mi in order to absorb the Gura Gura no Mi, and that's why Blackbeard tried his hardest in order to obtain the specific Devil Fruit for this special effect. Who Dr. Vegapunk is is one of my favorite One Piece mysteries, and some believe that this brilliant doctor is an alien. This would explain why he's so technologically advanced compared to his contemporaries. I think perhaps Vegapunk is from the Ancient Kingdom, and Lady Toki transported the two of them forward in time. Similar to how some believe the Straw Hats and the Red Haired Pirates are going to have a Davy back fight, some believe the Blackbeard Pirates and the Straw Hats will instead have a Davy back fight. Some think that Mihawk will be defeated by another swordsman, such as Shiryu, and they will obtain the world's greatest swordsman title, and then Zoro will battle this new opponent. I don't think this will happen. This rematch has been set up for so long, it would be so lame if it didn't happen. If anyone is killing Mihawk, it better be Zoro. 
Oda is actually a god who has blessed us with the greatest story ever conceived in existence. I really want this to happen. Oda has introduced the automata, and Eneru has been to the moon. I think the Strahd should go there too. I don't think this theory is right. Luffy is an amazing strategist when it comes to fighting, and he's become more perceptive as the series has gone on, but he's definitely stupid. There's a theory that says that Shanks or someone on Shanks' crew is able to teleport, and that is how Shanks was able to save Luffy from the Lord of the Coast so quickly, and how he got to Marine Ford to save Kobe so fast. I think Shanks is just a quick dude. This theory believes that when Big Mom ate Mother Caramel and the other orphans, their souls entangled with Big Mom's, and now her personality switches between her own and Mother Caramel's. I couldn't find info about this theory, but my guess is that this theory is talking about how Nami's body has the power to defeat opponents much stronger than her, or maybe this theory is talking about how she is able to teleport and beat up Luffy, or maybe her secret power is how she can strike absolute fear into others. Similar to how some people think Vegapunk is an alien, others think that Eam is an alien. Doflamingo once mentioned that there was a national treasure Marige was that could shake the world, and some believe that this treasure is Eam. This theory believes that there's been an inherited will that has existed since the Void Century. Roger had this inherited will, and now Luffy has it. During the Reverie arc, we see Bonnie mourning Kuma, and this led some to believe that the two are related. Bonnie being Kuma's daughter could be interesting, but there's another theory that I like about Bonnie more that I will discuss soon. A question that comes up when looking at Blackbeard's crew is who is the last Titanic captain? There's supposed to be 10 of them, but we only know nine members. Well, according to this theory, Stronger, the horse Doc Q rides on, is actually the 10th Titanic captain. During the Punk Hazard arc, we learn how Devil Fruit powers transfer to the closest fruit after a Devil Fruit user dies. This led some to believe that Monet's Yuki Yuki no Mi's powers transferred to one of Nami's tangerines, since they were the closest fruit to Monet when she died. Some still hold on to the thought that Zoro's childhood friend and rival Kuina is still alive. As stated before, some people think she's Tashigi in disguise, but perhaps she is somewhere else in the One Piece world. We have no idea what happened during the Void Century, but I could see this theory being true. I could see a group of pirates bring the 20 kingdoms together in order to create the world government and bring some balance to the world. I also don't think the world government would want the general public to know that they were founded by pirates, so they would try to hide any trace of this information. One of my favorite theories is that Shanks has nefarious intentions. Shanks saw that Luffy has potential for something and is exploiting him in order for Shanks to achieve his own goals. This is the Bonnie theory I was talking about before. I like the idea that Bonnie is actually an old woman and is using her devil fruit to make herself look young. Some believe that Shanks is guarding the vanished island God Valley. I don't think there's any evidence for this claim though. Some believe that Reverse Mountain was built by the Ancient Kingdom, and if we are to believe that they were technologically advanced, I could see this theory being true. There's a lot of theories on how Blackbeard is able to use two devil fruits, and this theory believes that Blackbeard has a parasitic twin living inside of him, and that's how he was able to use the Gura Gura no Mi. Some believe that Oda foreshadowed Ace's death in one of his cover pages, so when Chapter 784's cover story Picnic with Zombies came out, people started to speculate that Zoro was going to die. The cover story has a tombstone with a date of December 20th, 944, and Zoro's shirt has the word Ultimo, which means final in Spanish on it. He also has a skull on his shirt, which symbolizes death. Luckily, this theory was proven wrong since Zoro is still alive, and we've passed chapter 1000. 
Black Kabuto is Usopp's trusty slingshot, and we've seen weapons eat devil fruits before, so I think this would be awesome if it happened. In chapter 119, Usopp mentions, even if one day I lose everything and face death alone on a deserted isle, I'll die proud of the way I lived. And I'll say, I am Usopp, a brave warrior of the sea. A death flag appeared above Usopp ever since this quote. So some believe that in order for Usopp to achieve his dream, he is going to sacrifice himself during the final battle on Raftal. I couldn't find anything about this theory, so I'll just theorize that Shanks feels immense guilt for making Buggy swallow the Bara Bara no Mi. Others are saying that Roger took a bullet for Shanks, possibly the disease Roger had was originally supposed to be for Shanks, so now Shanks feels guilty about Roger's death. If the Ancient Kingdom was in fact technologically advanced, they were probably using a lot of the planet's resources and were causing a lot of damage to the world. We once again return to the moon. Some think that Dragon had a relationship with a woman from the moon, and now Luffy is a half-moon person. I really hope Dragon didn't sleep with an automata. Some think Pedro survived the bomb explosion, mostly due to Pell being able to survive a bomb attack. Sadly, I don't think Pedro is coming back. This theory ties in with the Gorosei being immortal. They are originally from the Void Century and have been running the world government for centuries. Maybe the Gorosei started out as pirates too. Evil is subjective, and I don't think Blackbeard is that bad compared with some of the other antagonists in the series. I think we need to see Blackbeard's full backstory before we can determine if he's truly evil. He did kill his crewmate, and that's no good. When Bellamy is mocking Luffy about having dreams, he mentions the Emerald City. This theory believes that the Emerald City exists somewhere in the One Piece world, especially since Shandora existed. In Oda's one-shot Monsters, there is an item called the Dragon Horn, and it has the power to control dragons. This theory believes that Dragon Horn still exists in the One Piece world, and that it's the ancient weapon Uranus. Sunlight Tree Eve is a giant tree, and it's thanks to this tree that Fishman Island is able to have light. Some theorize that Devil Fruits originated from this giant tree due to the story of Adam and Eve, where Eve was the one who first tasted the forbidden fruit. This goes back to the theory that Kaido is originally a dragon and ate a human devil fruit. This theory thinks that human devil fruit was an Oni type. As stated before, Ivankov knows a secret about Crocodile. Some believe that Crocodile was originally a woman who changed into a man thanks to Ivankov's devil fruit. This theory believes that Zoro's Wadoichi Monji is cursed by a spirit, possibly Kuina's spirit. This theory believes that Kaido and Big Mom had an intimate relationship one time in their lives. Probably when they were both on Rox's crew. This theory ties in with the Ancient Kingdom being the ones who made Reverse Mountain. If they made Reverse Mountain, they probably made the entire red line. Brook and Kuzan have similar hairstyles, they both use ice powers, and when Brook was alive he had the same round sunglasses as Kuzan. Brook never mentioned that he had a family, so I don't think this theory is valid, but I'll admit, there are a lot of similarities between their designs. People really want Kuina to still be alive. This theory believes that Kuina faked her death and then snuck away from her hometown and joined the Revolutionary Army. This theory believes that Chopper will find the cure to Hirluck's illness on Wano. Hirluck mentions that the vision of cherry trees is what cured him, and Wano is an island filled with cherry blossom trees, so I can see this theory being correct. This theory speculates that Shanks is Rox's son. Some believe that on God Valley, after defeating Rox, Roger found a baby Shanks and adopted him. The God Valley incident occurred 38 years ago, and Shanks is 39. 
Doflamingo mentions that the owner of the Ope Ope no Mi has the power to grant immortality to another at the cost of the user's life. Some believe that a past user of the Ope Ope no Mi used this technique on Kaido, and that's why he's unable to die. Loki is the Prince of Elbaf, and this theory believes that the last Poneglyph is inside his stomach. I can't find any evidence for this theory, except that in Norse mythology, Loki had an eating contest, so perhaps the Loki in One Piece had an eating contest, and accidentally ate the last Poneglyph. At first I thought this theory was debunked, since Orochi was killed, but it looks like he's back. Maybe. So perhaps Orochi might meet Soge King, and Orochi will think Soge King is part of CP Aija Zero because of his mask. This theory speculates that Captain Yorkie of the Rumbar Pirates caught tree fever. That's the disease we saw affect the Shandia during Nolan's backstory. Supposedly, Yorkie caught the disease while in a forest, so this theory could be accurate. There's no evidence for this theory, but I'm sure Nami and Frankie would be happy to have a giant gold coin spaceship. This theory believes that in the past, Drum Kingdom's doctors were researching devil fruits, and the reason Blackbeard attacked Drum Kingdom was to gain the knowledge these doctors were studying. Blackbeard ultimately finds the information, and that is how he learns how to consume two devil fruits. This theory believes that Queena is dead and that she committed suicide. Her father told everyone she fell down the stairs to cover up the suicide. This theory is incorrect, as we know Denjiro is still alive. This theory speculates that the world government has control over the ancient weapon Uranus. Too bad we still don't know what Uranus is. I think this theory popped up because there hasn't been an autumn island in the series yet. I for one would love to see an autumn island and see the Straw Hats dressed in comfy clothes. In Greek mythology, Uranus is the personification of the heavens. This leads some to believe that the ancient weapon is going to be a plane or some sort of flying vessel. There are a few theories about Dragon not being Garp's biological son. Some believe that Dragon is Garp's son-in-law, while others think that Dragon might be Rox's son. These theories started appearing due to Garp apparently never explicitly saying that Dragon is his son. This theory thinks that Mad Monk Rouge was originally the island Raftal that ate the Hito Hito no Mi model monk. I can't find any evidence for this theory. This theory may be hard to believe, but Queen and Queena sound similar, so they have to be the same person. We've seen members that belong to a long arm tribe, a long leg tribe, and a snake neck tribe, so I can see there being a long nose tribe as well. Usopp would definitely be a part of it. This theory believes that Zoro will be the one to kill Kaido. He does hold Enma, a sword that was able to cut Kaido. I could see this theory coming true. Luffy could beat up Kaido, and then Zoro could deliver the final blow. This theory believes that Vegapunk has created nuclear weapons and the world government has them in their arsenal. Perhaps they'll use these nuclear weapons for the Great Cleansing. We once again return to the mysterious God Valley. This theory believes that dragons lived on this island. We know for a fact that dragons once lived in the One Piece world, so perhaps this is where they lived before they went extinct. I guess some believe that Kinemon is as strong as a Yonko. I'm not sure why, he's definitely strong, but I don't think he comes close to Big Mom or Kaido. All nine scabbards had to work together in order to slightly damage Kaido. This theory believes that the admirals in the One Piece universe follow the Chinese Zodiac. We've got Red Dog Sakazuki, Blue Pheasant Kuzon, Yellow Monkey Borsalino, Wisteria Tiger Isho, and Green Bull. We also have Vice Admirals Pink Rabbit Gion and Brown Pig Tokikake. This theory also believes Sengoku stands for the sheep due to him having a pet goat, and that Monkey D Dragon is the dragon in the Zodiac due to the theory that he was an ex-marine. If this theory is correct, 
we still need a horse and a snake. This theory also predicts who the final admirals in the series will be by using colors. I'll link the theory in the description. Some believe that Don Krieg was an overpowered antagonist. I don't think he was. This theory speculates that Karu ate Miss Golden Week on Little Garden, but this can't be right, because Miss Golden Week has her own cover story series later on in the manga. There's always the possibility Karu ate Golden Week and then spat her out. This theory speculates that there was an alien invasion during the Void Century, and the world government is trying to hide any trace of it, probably due to Eam being an alien from that time. This theory speculates that the giant fountain in Water 7 was actually built during the Void Century. If the Ancient Kingdom was technologically advanced, perhaps they were the ones who built the fountain. The reason Zoro's eye is shut is because he's half asleep. During the Punk Hazard arc, we see a room filled with frozen giants. Some speculate that these were guinea pigs Vegapunk used in order to try to turn normal humans into giants. This theory speculates that Marco will die and revert back to a baby due to his phoenix devil fruit. In mythology, a newborn phoenix will be born from the ashes of its predecessor, so I could see this theory coming true if Marco dies. It's not Buggy the Clown, it's Buggy D Clown. We've never received any information about Robin's father besides that he's probably dead and that he was studying the Poneglyphs, but some speculate that he was on Roger's crew. When Green Bull is first introduced, he mentioned that he hasn't eaten anything in three years. This has led some to speculate that Sanji is going to be the one to fight Green Bull. Green Bull not eating anything on purpose seems to be the opposite of how Sanji almost starved to death when he was a kid, so I could see Sanji being upset that Green Bull chooses to not eat anything. Some believe that Zoro will betray Luffy in order to achieve his dream of becoming the world's greatest swordsman. I think this theory was debunked when Zoro was willing to sacrifice his life and his dream for Luffy on Thriller Bark. In an SBS, Oda pretty much confirmed that Dofi and Viola had a spicy relationship. Some think that Doflamingo forced himself on Viola. Vivi's nickname for Zoro was Mr. Bushido, and some people thought it was foreshadowing his possible origins on Wano. Father versus son. I would love to see this fight, and I'm sure a lot of you would too. This is a theory I've seen ever since Eam was introduced. Some have speculated that Eam is a woman, and possibly Luffy's mother. Ace is seen hanging around with Otama a lot on Wano, and Iceberg's new secretary is 10 years old. Arrest these men. Con Doriano is an anime-only character from the G8 filler arc. Some believe that this special inspector for the Marines is actually a member of the D-Clan. Frankie saw the blueprints for Pluton, so some believe that the Thousand Sunny was built with these blueprints in mind. We know for a fact that Pluton is a battleship, so this is a pretty interesting theory. We all know about the Easter egg character Panda Man, but did you know about Panda Woman? Since men are not allowed to live on Amazon Lily, Oda made Panda Woman to replace Panda Man for that arc. You can see her in both the anime and the manga. This is a meme spawned from an SBS where Oda specified that one of Aruja's favorite hobbies is lovemaking. It's thanks to him that the One Piece world is so populated. This theory was proven false. Kiyoshiro is Denjiro, and both Kinemon and Denjiro are about the same age during the Odin flashback. The color cover for Chapter 22 has Luffy making mochi with a couple of rabbits. Some believe that this was foreshadowing the whole Cake Island arc. Luffy making mochi is foreshadowing Luffy vs Katakuri, and the rabbits foreshadow Carrot. 
Not sure why this theory exists, but perhaps since Eam and Mihawk have similar eyes, people started to speculate that Mihawk is linked to the Void Century. A lot of people believe that Uranus is going to be some sort of flying machine. Nami's abilities have to do with the weather, so I can see why this theory exists. It would be pretty cool seeing Nami controlling a giant blimp or plane, raining thunder down on all her enemies. This theory was proven correct by Oda in an SPS. Former Cypher Pol agent Lasky is in fact Khalifa's father. During Robin's flashback in Ohara, the archaeologists have a globe of the One Piece world and it is surrounded by multiple moons. This theory believes that six of the moons were destroyed and only one moon remains. How the other moons were destroyed, who knows. Some people think Eam is a woman, others think Eam is a man, others think Eam is Luffy's mom, and then others think Eam is a little girl. Some think that Meadows, who was one of the gladiators during the Dressrosa arc, is actually Kaido. Um, I guess this theory exists because he sort of looks like the prototype design for Kaido? Some believe that Shanks was seeking the inheritor of Joy Boy and Roger's will, and when Shanks found Luffy, he was actively trying his best to turn Luffy into a pirate so that Luffy would follow in Joy Boy and Roger's footsteps. One theory suggests that the Celestial Dragons wear weird spacesuits because they are actually aliens, and they also deleted history in order to hide that they invaded the One Piece world. There's a theory that the cape Mihawk wears is given to the strongest swordsman. This theory exists because we also see Rayleigh, another amazing swordsman, wearing a similar cape in a flashback. I'm not sure about this one, but it has something to do with the bounties being so high that the economy of the One Piece world is undergoing some sort of hyperinflation. This theory believes that Zunisha, the giant elephant that houses Zoe, was actually someone's pet and is now wandering the sea looking for its owner. During the Marineford arc, there's a panel where Vista and Yasop are glaring at each other. Some believe that Yasop stole Banchina from Vista sometime in the past. This theory believes that the Straw Hat is a symbolic crown that is continuously passed down to the next Pirate King. We once again return to the Sea Devil. This theory believes that Rox and Blackbeard have inherited the Sea Devil's will instead of the Yami Yami no Mi. There's a common belief in the One Piece community that there won't be any romance between the Straw Hats. This is due to Oda evading an SBS question, asking if there will be any onboard romance. Oda stated that all the Straw Hats are in love with adventure. This theory believes that there will be romance between the crew members. Please no. The Kino Kobito is a race of mushroom people in the One Piece world. We actually see one in a book full of creatures in the Whole Cake Island arc. This theory believes the Kino Kobito live inside Reverse Mountain. Male characters who have leg hair are not virgins. This theory believes that the members of the D-Clan actually choose how they're going to die. Ace chose to sacrifice himself for Luffy. Rouge chose to sacrifice herself for Ace. Saul chose to defect from the world government. Not sure about Roger and Rox though. As stated before, Eam and Mihawk have similar eye designs, so some now believe that Eam has hawk eyes. From what I've been told, this is just a random theory. If Vegapunk turns out to have three eyes, maybe this theory will hold some weight. This theory speculates that the One Piece story takes place in a post-apocalyptic society. There's pirates running around causing havoc, and the government is horribly corrupt. The One Piece world is a horrible place. I'm curious to see how the Ancient Kingdom was like during the Void Century. If they are technologically advanced like many of these theories believe, then I could definitely agree with this theory. Many believe Mihawk or Shiryu will be Zoro's final fight in the series, but true One Piece fans know Tashigi will be Zoro's final challenger for the Greatest Swordsman title. 
This theory believes that Shanks has a member on his crew from the Kano country. The Kano country is where Shin, Zhao, and Sai are from. I think this theory exists because Shanks is from the West Blue, which is also where Kano is located. There was a poster on 4chan who would post in One Piece threads, patiently waiting for Bonnie to join, with a picture of Fidel Castro. Let's hope they're right. I don't know what this theory is in relation to. I don't remember Enru or Luffy losing their devil fruit powers from being hit by Wiper's bazooka, but I guess some people think Wiper put Sea Stone in his bazooka. You know those horns that Ors has on his head? Some believe those are for pulling continents. Trafalgar Lamy is Law's deceased sister. Some think that she's still alive and is Eam's maid because Eam wants a D-Clan companion. Sadly, I don't think Lamy's coming back. In the center of Elbath is a giant tree. Some speculate that this tree represents Yggdrasil, a sacred tree from Norse cosmology. Didn't find anything about this one, but I'm guessing that this theory believes Panda Man is some sort of guardian angel for Luffy and the Straw Hats. This is an interesting theory. Terraforming is a hypothetical process where you change another planet to make it more like Earth. Some speculate that the One Piece is a terraforming machine that was possibly used during the Void Century in order to change the One Piece world to the way it is now. I'm not sure what this theory is in relation to, but I guess some believe that the One Piece is able to merge souls together. I'm not sure why you would want this to happen, though. The One Piece world is filled with interesting races. Some speculate that the Ancient Kingdom were performing genetic modifications on their people, and that is why there are so many different races in the One Piece world. Kuma is holding a Bible, Mihawk wears a cross around his neck, there is a satanic cult that worships the devil. Yeah, I think Christianity exists in One Piece. This theory comes from the belief that the One Piece is a device that will be able to make a super continent, which will take all the islands in the world and combine them together, creating the Pangaea Kingdom. Ors has the epithet Continent Puller. So this got some people thinking that perhaps Kaido is a failed world government experiment who would be loyal to them and pull continents around for them. The world government would be even more powerful if they were able to shift the landscape any way they want. This theory exists due to the cover stories of chapter 837 and 838. It features Shanks and the other red-haired pirates celebrating a wedding. The only major red-haired pirate missing from these cover stories is Lucky Rue, so some believe that it's his wedding. And who is the woman who really wants to get married? Why it's Lola, of course. However, this theory was proven false, since in the gang Beige's Oh My Family cover story, Lola gets married to Gotti. Maybe Lola and Lucky Rue got a divorce. I don't know the full context of this one either, but my guess is that the souls that do not return to the white trees in Shandia travel the One Piece world and inhabit fruits that then become devil fruits. Some think Luffy is merely a reincarnation of Roger. We know Luffy has inherited Roger's will, but I don't think he's a reincarnation. This came from a post on a One Piece thread on 4chan. Let me read it to you. I'll try to say it, but so that it's not obvious. Oda sure is inspired by a lot of literature. Luffy's design is based on Tom Sawyer, Laboon on Moby Dick, Alabast on James Bond, etc. There is a book that is analogical to the overarching story. It has something that's similar to the final treasure and function. Void Century, from what we know on macro scale, is also analogical to the history in that one book. Though the details are different, and better explained by hints about that age that Oda left lying. Someone did a flip in One Piece language, switched opposing terms and meanings. Someone else didn't. Someone has been fooled and spread misinformation. Someone is repeating history, but in a different age. Some very important things are older than the Void Century. Some people don't have ancestors as kind as them. Sometimes, rumors are half true. I'm not sure what to make out of this post. If you understand it, please let me know in the comments below.
This theory believes that Pell is actually dead. I don't think there's any evidence for this one, but I guess some people think Pizarro killed Robin's father. However, according to the One Piece magazine, Robin's dad was killed by the world government. This theory believes that the G8 filler arc and Oppies, the girl from the warship island filler arc, both of which are from the One Piece anime, are actually canon. This theory has to do with Blackbeard. In the Drum Kingdom arc, Luffy states that people in snowy countries don't sleep, because if they do, they will die. When Oda drew Blackbeard as a kid, he drew him with snow under his feet, signifying that Blackbeard originated from a winter island. This has led to a few theories, including that Blackbeard doesn't sleep, which Buggy also brings up during the Odin flashback. Some speculate that if your Conqueror's hockey is strong enough, you could have the power of mind control. I could totally see this happening. This theory proved to be incorrect. Some thought that Big Mom captured Jinbei after Whole Cake Island and put his soul into a homie. But Jinbei has returned in Wano and he seems to be doing okay. Bachi is the fly that Full Body put in his soup during the Barazzi arc. I'm not sure what the theory is, but I didn't know the fly had a name until now. This theory spawned due to an editor's joke for the Viver Card data books, where they said Wanze, the chef who is part of CP9, has a hidden past. What this hidden past is, nobody knows. This theory believes that Big Mom has those uncontrollable hunger pangs due to the NHC 10 candy Caesar Clown makes. Big Mom was having these hunger pangs before Caesar Clown was even born, so I don't think this theory is true. Some have speculated that the last island on the Grand Line, Raftal, is going to be the Garden of Eden of the One Piece world. I have no clue what this theory is about. Supposedly, it has something to do with the swords around the empty throne in Marijuaz. If you know anything about it, tell me in the comments. Not entirely sure about this one, but it looks like something about how four kids would censor all of Wano due to them trying to Americanize anything Japanese in their anime dubs. I can't find anything about this theory but supposedly, it was just a meme theory. This is a theory popular in the Japanese One Piece community where they believe that there are two Shanks in the story. The first Shanks is the one who saved Luffy, while the second was created due to a time paradox created by the Toki Toki no Mi. This theory exists because in some panels, it seems Shanks is missing his face scar. This theory goes in tandem with the D is a pictograph theory, where the D is actually a half moon. Supposedly, there was an angel race that descended from the moon to the One Piece world, and the D-Clan are people who share blood with both his angel race and the races down below in the One Piece world. Volume 27 is supposed to be a clue for this theory, as it features Luffy with a set of angel wings, showing his connection with the angel race. The Lord of the Coast is the Sea King who ate Shanks' arm, and then Luffy fought at the beginning of his journey. This theory believes that Laboon is Roger's Lord of the Coast, where Roger proved his strength by defeating Laboon before setting out on his own pirate adventure. Some believe that the national treasure that is hidden in Marijuaz is actually a device that can alter reality. I couldn't find any support for this theory. Remember in Robin's backstory where Akainu killed a bunch of innocent people from Ohara? Well, some people think it was all an accident. I can't find anything about this theory, but I'm guessing it's about a parallel universe where things in the One Piece world are a little bit different. Some believe that devil fruits are actually made from dead bodies. Um, I can agree with maybe a person's soul transferring to a devil fruit, but I don't think their bodies are being used to make the fruit. Hockey is a spiritual force, so I can see this theory being true. Kind of like how the force is everything. This theory believes that there is one more level to impel down. One way worse than all the other levels. 
This is a meme theory that Pell's death was referencing 9-11. I don't think so. This theory believes that the voice actor for Sanji is sleeping with Oda's wife. As revenge for all the gags, Oda forces Sanji to go through in the series. We've got time travel, robots, mad scientists, and genetic modifications. I think it's safe to put sci-fi as one of the genres to describe One Piece. This theory believes that Eam is part of the D-Clan. I wouldn't be surprised. Not sure about this one. My guess is that there are some sort of air roads in Skypea that lead directly to the moon. This theory believes that Reverie might stand for Level Elysium, which in Greek mythology was described as a paradise. This theory believes that Kubo, the creator of Bleach, creates One Piece theories in order to sabotage Oda, most likely because he's jealous of One Piece's success. Kubo is part of the manga community, so perhaps he has some special insider knowledge about One Piece and is sprinkling some truth in his theories. This is a theory I've believed in ever since I saw Oars, and that is that the ancient giants roamed the world during the Void Century. It just feels so perfect that it can't be untrue. So this theory is one that I now believe in after reading some of Oda's SBSs. You can just tell that he loves Vikings, and Elbaf has always felt so important to the world of One Piece. The way Oda keeps shoving giants into the story really makes me feel like he wanted to write a Viking story. King of the Pirates? Yeah, that's a monarchy. Not sure about this one, but supposedly it has to do with Luffy and Roger, having a secret shared dream. In one of the original Conspiracy Iceberg posts, there was a theory called Mexican sugar dancing. Alabastian sugar dancing powder is a reference to that. The last theory in this iceberg is that when Oda is almost finished writing the manga, he's going to hide the last chapter and perform his own execution, which will spawn the new pirate age. Every reader will head out to seas, in order to find the new One Piece. Thank you so much for watching this video. It took a long time to make, and I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want me to dive into any of these theories more thoroughly, let me know in the comments below. As always, please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And if you want to talk to me about One Piece or any other anime directly, come join the Discord. Take care, everyone.